What is up brother bears, Sean here and today I wanted to showcase what I've dubbed the Necro Sin build. This stealthy assassin lurks in the shadows, taking advantage of insane backstabs, but it is also capable of standing toe to toe with most enemies due to its insane lifesteal from the vampiric dagger. On top of that it's able to leech mana as long as you have the shadow buff active, which is that purple eye that you see on screen. If things get a little hairy, you're also able to summon up to 3 skeletons to distract your enemies, allowing you to rip and tear with insane attack speed, blink strikes and backstabs. With the help of the Knives Master mod, you're able to turn any dagger into a main hand weapon. This really changes up the combat and allows for a more refreshing style of gameplay if you're not used to it. And with the Transmog mod, I was able to equip the best possible physical damage gear and still look cool at the same time. I wanted to do a full build breakdown but I realized that many Many of you, if not most of you, don't use mods, or can't use mods due to being on console. So I'll keep it brief. The Necroson uses the Rogue Engineer, the Shadow Assassin and the Necromancer breakthrough points. The Shadow Assassin skill tree lets you use a myriad of dual wield and blink dagger attacks and I really enjoy it. The Necromancer lets you specialize in strengthening your army of the undead, which lets you raise a very powerful army that can help you in the heat of combat and the Rogue Engineer's dagger skills synergize with the Shadow Assassin's tree in multiple ways. I used the scale leather chest and boots and I transmogged it to look like the Gazit armor set for the cool factor. I was able to turn my brigand's backpack into a charged stone backpack. This build is insanely overpowered and it makes you feel like an absolute badass. I'll leave a link in the description of all the mods that I used in this build and if you are considering it, check it out.